way Psyblade works, when you hit something, it will draw a line between where you are and where that target is. And then it extends that line behind the target and hits anyone who is standing in a line behind that. We will demonstrate. It's easier to understand. We have two heroes here. They're standing in a line. We hit here. It's going to side blade, right? Very obvious. We go a little bit to the side. Still going to side blade. Anywhere within this, we should be side blading onto this guy. Roughly, roughly, roughly. It, it gets tighter here. The line the line is less forgiving than I can draw here with my silly iron branches. It's easier to do it if I add an actual drawing tool. But what this means is, not only can I side blade if I stand in here, but if I stand in here, say, I'm within this line now, right? But I move here. Oh, hold up. I was within the line, attacked, and then I missed. Streamer's lying to me. It doesn't work. Well, it does work. It just checks when the attack lands, not when you attack. This also gets exaggerated even more when you have longer range. So we can display this. If I'm all the way back here, then I can have more time to travel to change my aim, right? Which also means I can shoot from here. Boom, that's a side blade. Boom, that's a side blade. But it doesn't stop there. It gets even cooler, chat. You want to see the real dank play? The real dank play is this. Never mind what you just saw. Boom! That's a side blade. So even if you reposition with something like blink, that's a side blade. This means that when I'm laning against someone on mid lane, they're going to be dodging my side blades, right? Or <laughs> try to. <laughs> if you know what I mean. They can't fucking dodge them. Um, so they're, they're going to move back and forth like a, like a bot would, you know? So he's going to move, and I'm going to move as well. And as we move, you know, we can, we can dance with him by, um, by moving as he moves, hit, move. Instead of just hitting and doing nothing, we hit, then move. So if I just hit here, then, you know, uh, let's see here. Like this, it will miss, yes. And this will miss, yes. yes. But if I did the same thing, but I move, so we can try to angle and get hits when it should miss. So it's basically fresh. an aiming to keep positioning after you hit. If he is moving up, I should move down. You if he's do moving not. down, I should move up. You basically want to reverse mirror his movements. And the closer you are, the faster you can steer your aim. Now this is where it gets difficult to. If you want to get really good at TA and you want to get really fucking good at side blading, then you will not take the easy route and stand far away. Instead, you will get comfortable aiming like a gun. If we're standing way back here, then I can side blade him, but it's kind of hard because I need to very, very quickly adjust my aim. I, I even, you see how I even move closer instinctively because I know that this is not good side blading. This is like tough. So I, I want to be up here right now. I want to be, this, this is a better spot for me to aim because we can very quickly adjust angles. See, oh, he's turning. Okay, oh, he's turning. So wherever he turns, we can quickly adjust. Ooh. And then if you really want to style on someone, this is what I call the gun. I call it a gun. That's when you literally just stand and hug something and use it to shoot someone. Now this is like super technical because every single little move you can you can completely change your angle. But that also means as long as they're within the range of side blading, you can hit them no matter how fast they're juking in a side, right? So these are the hardest side blades to hit.